the future of media literacy education is, is going to depend on new models for supporting the lifelong learning needs of educators. And that includes ourselves in the higher education community, as well as librarians and communication media professionals and uh, folks working in elementary and secondary education and humanists and community leaders of all sorts uh, who are working in uh, informal learning sectors as well as formal education. We're, we need to support our own lifelong learning process. And this digital education action plan from the European Commission, it offered a set of recommendations that included stuff about infrastructure and connectivity, stuff about digital capacity planning and development. But the one that caught my eye was the recommendation that we need to focus on producing a digitally competent and confident teachers and education and training staff. And we need that in higher education as much as we need that in elementary and secondary grades. This report from the OECD about the impact of COVID on the education industry um, revealed that in OECD countries, teachers report that they have a high need for learning digital skills, right? Uh, higher than ever now as a result of the pandemic. But at the same time, they also told us that teachers are not engaging in distance learning for their own development. So they're relying on face-to-face -face, uh, learning experiences, which actually for media literacy is extremely limiting. As far as I can see, one of the big problems we have with the future of media literacy is the need to, to develop the competencies of the whole education community and the transmission style delivery of content about the topics of disinformation and propaganda doesn't go far enough. 